Criticate! <laughs> I would love it if that song was playing while we're fucking crying. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's all so romantic, and then... <laughs> like, that's what the birds are singing? Yeah. <laughs> you okay? I don't know. Yeah. Come on, dude. I've known you for long enough to see when you're down. Oh, man. I'm tired, bro. I, I think being out here is making me realize just how drained I feel. You work really hard, Craig. It can't be easy. I, I have to. For my girls. I, I volunteer at their school. I cook healthy meals for them. I, I do everything I can just to make sure that they're ha safe and happy. And when they're with their mom, I'm always working overtime so I can support them. And then you work out a lot so you can crush anyone who stands in their way. I don't know. Maybe don't <laughs> do the ironic thing right now. How about that? No, he, he's joking. He's, he's joking around. That, and I don't want to fall into my old habits. I need to set a good example for my girls. Yeah. Everything I do, for the, do is for them, and I wouldn't have it any other way. But it seems like it's bleeding you dry. Oh. And if that's what it takes to raise them all, then it's worth it. Craig, buddy, I know where you're coming from here, but you gotta take care of yourself, too. Hey! I mean, that's easy for you to say. You're fucking fat. I am. Well, but that's good. But being fat and wearing a Danny Sexbang costume is what I do to relax, so that I don't get overstressed. You're always doing that. Do you not have a job, Keith? <laughs> 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 I do, though. I, I eat right and exercise and... That's not what I mean. You're too little butter on too much toast, you know? Dude. What? Butter. It's a food that goes on toast. Okay, I get it now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're spreading yourself too thin. Life needs balance. It's great that you care this much about your kids, but you can't neglect your own needs because you're too busy taking care of everyone else's. You matter too. Uh -huh. It just... I know I can provide for my family, and if I take a step back and look at everything objectively... I know I'm doing right by them. Oh. But I, I can't explain it, man. There's always that voice in the back of my head telling me that I need to do more. It's like, it's never enough for me. Every time I try to relax, that voice keeps telling me that I don't deserve it. To be honest, I, I even feel guilty about being out here. Craig, you're trying your best and you're doing an amazing job. That's a fact. But even if you weren't, you would still deserve happiness. Oh. Do I, though? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Wait, save it. Save anyway, but yeah. Hell yeah, bro. I look at Craig and I think about what a good friend and even better father Wait, he did is. you just friend zone him? No. no was... I think the eggplants are sexy times. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we're, we're earning some sexiness. He's compassionate and, and Robert. Oh, sorry. I was going. <laughs> He's hardworking. We He's play in a projector. So yeah, I... yeah. He, he stretched in front of the projector. <laughs> He's hardworking. He's relentlessly positive. He encourages everyone to be the best version of themselves. He makes me want to be a better person. If you could, if you could only see yourself the way I see you. I do in the mirror. I'm very hot. Craig beams. <laughs> he gets up and walks over to his supplies. Oh. Come on. I brought dessert. He turns around. It's just his dick sitting in a <laughs> <laughs> scoop of ice cream. <laughs> oh, are you going to use the campfire to torch the tops of some creme brulee? Oh. What? I know little to nothing about cooking. Craig pulls out marshmallows. Nice. Aww. Come on, you know how to make s'mores, right? Craig stretches one of the mush <laughs> marshmallows over his dick and then sticks it in the fire. He's screaming, but he clearly <laughs> loves it. It's really sexy. I think the more important question is, do you know how to make s'mores? As I recall, you used to just completely blacken the marshmallows. Oh, oh I stand by that. It's charred on the outside, but the gooey center is preserved. That's... Brutish. <laughs> Craig throws a marshmallow at me and I catch it in my mouth. Oh. I actually relate to that. I, I think that tastes pretty good when you charge really? When you get oh, it real no. big. Like, no, I no. prefer it otherwise, but. Yeah, yeah. It, it's okay. By the Bro, way. Don't move. What? No. Go ahead. What's by the way? <laughs> no, no, no. Go ahead. No, no, say it. We no, used to be able to do that can't. at great distance against the wind disadvantage. Chick, if you can't do that. Give me a week practice and I'll be competitive again. Chick, if you can't do that. <laughs> you can't just say something and then not follow up. People are going to wonder. 
Craig and I sit in the warm glow of the campfire, watching embers float up towards the sky. I'm not going to do the lines <laughs> until you tell me what it is. It was just a mouth skills joke, but the time had passed. The what? Because I caught the marshmallow in my mouth. I was going to make a joke about how I got some mad mouth skills and relate it to putting my mouth on a oh! dick. That's it would have been funny. That's pretty good, but dude. But you kept talking. Up top. You kept talking. Up top, my dude. And I couldn't make Jacob, the joke. Jacob, up top. No, pretty funny. No, we, we don't deserve it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the stars are so much brighter out here. Yeah. Oh. I miss this, Keith. Me too. We stay here until it gets late, half remembering stories from college. We watch as the fire dies and eventually clamber into the tent. Oh? Oh? We crawl into the tent and I unfurl my sleeping bag. I'm really trying to be here. <laughs> Wait. Where's the other sleeping bag? I look around for a second. Oh. Oh no. I must have left it at home. It's all yours, dude. I'm sorry. I'll just curl up over here. Huh? No way. Here. Craig unzips the sleeping bag and spreads it out so there's enough room for both of us to lay on top of it. Mm -hmm. Night, bro. Good night, bro. I roll over oh, and we come face. On. What? Come on. No, without a blanket, it's really cold. I shiver and without realizing it, I oh, find yeah. myself nestling closer to Craig. Oh shit! I'm sure he won't mind. He turns over and I can feel his breath on my neck. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! It's hard to fuck! Focus fuck! On fuck! Fuck! Anything fuck. else? I turn over, trying to get more comfortable. I open my eyes and find Craig's face only a few inches from my own. <gasps> oh shit, For baby. For once, he looks at peace. His eyes flutter open. His hand finds a place <gasps> on my waist. I'm not sure who oh, leans in fuck first. Oh, baby. But suddenly we're kissing. We look at each other again, my heart racing. Craig. Oh, man. I got strong feelings for you, bro. Feelings I can't deny anymore. Bro. It's weird to do my face that Me I do too. for that voice <laughs> <laughs> while doing sexy talk. <laughs> I run my hands through his hair, then down to his chest. Craig brings me fucking big dick, big dick. Oh, Sorry if the motorcycle didn't actually pick up. Motorcycle dick. Oh god. Big dick, big dick. <laughs> Craig brings me closer, wrapping his arms around me. I feel so secure. Hmm. Suddenly he inserts. <laughs> you know, talking about old times is fun, but. Mm -hmm. I like making nail memories with you. Mm. I smile, chasing the lane, lines of his hip with my finger. We kiss again. I'm not worried about us getting too cold tonight. Suddenly, he's balls deep in my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Date complete! <laughs> yeah! We fucked Craig! We did. We did we did fuck it. him? Yeah, of course we fucked him. You think so? You don't think that led to fucking? That was We're half naked day. under the same like blanket. Or, like, cuddled up to each other. Yeah. You could have just kissed? I don't <laughs> think so. I don't think so. Well, we'll see. We'll see. At least there was some mutual J-O-ing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, like what we're doing right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Keg <laughs> What? What? Was that on camera? Keg stand champion. I checked to see if we're recording. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. No, I, I, I would have died. I checked the, the, yeah, the clock yeah, like a yeah. second ago, so it's fine. Is it? What if it was frozen? <laughs> What if this was literally Frozen, the movie <laughs> the from movie? Disney? Oh, that'd be weird. Whew, I think I have everything finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. I think that's her car in the driveway. Okay, gotta act natural. Be cool, Keith. Be cool. Amanda walks to the door with a suspicious look on her face. Hey, Dad, why is there cum all over the lawn? Why is there cum all over your suitcase? Why is there cum all over you? This Let's just never talk about is this over. <laughs> 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 Off to a good start. <laughs> Something fishy. Rats. What? No. What? <laughs> I uh I had a crab cake sandwich for lunch. That's probably it. You're allergic to selfish. Oh! Shellfish. Oh no. I forgot again. Dad? Oh, gosh. I'm going to be sick. What have I done? What is this place? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You're right. I have a little surprise uh. for you. I turn around and my dick is <laughs> in, key in Craig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell you're very bad at lying. Amanda, my dear, would you care to join me in the kitchen? Father, you have to fill my heart with glee. 
I lead Amanda over to the kitchen table where a present lies covered under a tablecloth. It's nothing special, but I wanted to get you a little something. You graduated high school last week, and I know you told me not to make a big deal about it, but... Uh. Oh, Dad, you... I dramatically whip the cloth off the table. Amanda's jaw drops. No way! I figure you probably won't be able to get cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be nice to take a piece of home with you. A DVD box set of long-haul paranormal ice road <laughs> ghost truckers? This is all 19 seasons! And bonus material, including commentary with <laughs> actual ghosts featured on the show. <laughs> Dad, why didn't you get me this on Blu-ray? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she gives me a big hug. I'm glad you like it. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pigskin or something? <laughs> totally. I follow Amanda to the back door. <laughs> Aw, that's cute. Cute, cute, cute. You told me not to make a big deal, but you seem to have forgotten that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. So consider this your graduation party. No kids from school. <laughs> Just a bunch of dads from Just around the neighborhood. Just a bunch of my friends. Including your teacher. <laughs> Surprise! Dad, everyone's here. <laughs> well, yeah, everyone wanted to come and support you. Yeah. Is that a mac and cheese bar? Sure is. Fully customizable, down to the type of Mac. That sounds fucking that sick. It sounds so good. And there's ice cream cake. The good kind, with the crunchies in the Fuck, middle. Fuck, that sounds great, too. Oh, it does. Ugh. I don't know what to say. This sounds great. I One, want it in real life. <laughs> One problem with doing these recording sessions in the morning is now that I'm, I'm, I'm so super hungry, hungry by too, the dude. end. Oh, my God. Oh, I had some sick. I, didn't, I, had, <laughs> I, I had a nice meal. Yeah? Yeah, last uh, week. Oh, it was great. Whatever. <laughs> Don't say anything. Just go have fun with your pals, all right? I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. I should make the rounds and make sure everyone's having a good time. But first, mac and cheese! <laughs> Keith! Brian, you made it! <laughs> ha! I don't pass up on good mac! What do you think of the party? Aww. It's not bad! Just not bad? Hey. Yeah, it's not bad. Don't let him bait you. Don't let him bait you. Thank you for the lovely compliment. Daisy trots up. How? I'm on the stab. Hey, Brian's daughter. See? See how that feels? This is a really <laughs> great party. It was such a dick thing to say. Jesus. <laughs> You're very welcome, tiny child who knows how to pay a <laughs> compliment. Shit. God, Keith, stop. Keith, you fucking monster. <laughs> Brian and I lock eyes. This isn't over. Looks like you've settled into this <laughs> neighborhood quite nicely. Yep. Couldn't ask for a better cul-de-sac. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Hopefully we'll see you at more church events. <laughs> we got a good, big schedule planned for the rest of the year. Sure thing, Joseph. Maybe if you aren't doing anything later, we could, uh... Hang on some time. Sure, Joseph. That'd be great. Well, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Hugo comes up to me with a plate of mac and cheese. Oh. The perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work, Keith. Thanks, Hugo. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to her dream school. I'm glad she turned it around for finals. Me too. That scholarship money will really help. Amanda walks by and pretends not to see Hugo. <laughs> he went so yeah, fast. That's funny. Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey. Congratulations on graduating. I know you're going to do great things at art school. Hey. Sorry, did you say something? <laughs> 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 yeah, thanks. Amanda starts to back away. Wait. I just realized you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid of talking to you. You no longer hold power over me. Ah, you're right. Go forth, adult. I can no longer give you detention. Well, fuck you! Ah! Amanda kicks him in the ball. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm gonna break anything I want. There's nothing you can do about it! Are you still mad about that time I gave you detention for breaking my globe? It was a real globe of Middle Earth, but still! <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking loser. 
Nope. Oh. And I'll have you know that the globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place, so... Oh, what a dick move. <laughs> an asshole. She'll fit into college just fine. Hey, Robert, glad you could make it. Remember that time we fucked? Mm. No. <laughs> That's my Robert. <laughs> yep. Robert takes a sip of his drink. Why is he being so cold to me? Why don't, why don't guys like me, Robert? You had sex why with a beautiful guys, man yesterday. I know, but it still hurts that he doesn't like me. <sighs> is he the one that got away? No, he's just the bad boy that I can never tame. Ugh. Everything okay? <laughs> sure. Why won't you talk to me? I thought we had something. Huh? Come on, Keith. You knew what this was. You know what this was. I... Oh. You were an object to me the same way I thought I was an object to you. I figured we were on the same page here, at least from how you were acting. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to be in this if there are feelings Whoa. involved. I got too much to deal with as it is. I'll catch you around. Hey. What a dick. What a douchebag. What a dick. Ugh. Hey, man. Oh, shit, I lost it. Matt. Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of grateful banana bread ready for her. Oh, yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we, we need that, that bread. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I know she love. Uh, I know she'll love that. Oh. What a splendid <laughs> garden party. My deepest thanks for extending an invitation to my son and I. This icebox cake is divine. Yeah, thanks, dude. Great cake. Thanks for coming by. Hey, looks like Amanda's hanging out with Briar and Hazel. Let's see what they're up to. Yeah. Wait, whose kids were those? Craig's. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Briar, think of a shape. Hazel, what's she thinking? You're, you're Hazel. I'm Briar. Square. Briar? It was S me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Star. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get it next time. <laughs> Amanda leans in close to Briar and Hazel, lowering her voice. Hmm. Listen, you guys can be real with me. If you're downplaying your psychic abilities, I want to you to know that you can trust me. <laughs> Heck, even think of me as a third twin. Amanda, that's a triplet. Hmm. You know, Dad, by the time I'm done with these kids, we're going to be finishing each other's orgasms. What? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't finish your sentence. What are we going to be finishing? Each other's sentences. See, third twin. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. I have to go. As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat on our back porch step. The sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Killer party, Pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So... I, uh... I also have something for you. Huh. Aw, for me? Why? Not to complete, be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but growing up wasn't easy, but it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't Aww. for you. Dad, you've been there for me through everything. There's been, there's been times in my life where you were my only friend. Close fuck. the menu, Dad. I didn't do that. Dad, please close what the menu. The fuck? I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized that everything you've done for me has been to prepare for this. And I'm ready. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Aw, don't cry. Don't cry. I swear to God, Keith, if you cry again. You're the best, Dad. I love you. Just keep getting louder and louder. Yeah. Amanda's blown back. <laughs> she, she like grabs the congratulations sign for help and she starts flapping in the wind. Yeah. Her skin flies off her body. <laughs> anyway, that was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. Yeah. <laughs> Present time. <laughs> Amanda hands me a tiny wrapped package. I tear the wrapping off to find a ring? A framed picture <laughs> of me and Amanda. It's us. Mm -hmm. Kind of shocking. All our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? <laughs> I figured we needed at least one together before I leave. Amanda, thank you. Watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Knock 'em dead, kid. Nah. Always do. <laughs> Amanda and I share a hug. 
ironically. This is only the beginning, Pops. <laughs> Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make and stuff to break, right? Aww. Oh, <gasps> oh world's best dad. We got an achievement. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I'm going to break so much stuff, intentionally and unintentionally. <laughs> You're probably going to have to pay for most of it. It would be my honor. Amanda hops up. Looks like someone's been waiting to talk to you. Glance over to the back of the yard, where Craig is sitting on a bench beneath our cherry blossom tree. He smiles at me. I'll leave you to it. Me and the Amas are going to go get ice cream. I thought they weren't friends anymore. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what Love you, Pops. Fucking teens. God damn it. Amanda runs off to join her friends. <laughs> Makes me legitimately <laughs> mad. That ruined the whole moment for me. I take a seat next to Craig as the last guests make their way out of the party. Hmm. Bro. Bro. Oh. This reminds me of the parties we used to throw. A few are keg stands, of course. <laughs> Probably for the best. I don't want to get my hip replaced after a party trick goes wrong. Oh. I can leave the keg stands in the past. Hmm. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm taking this weekend to relax. This party was my first stop out of the express train <laughs> from the relaxation station. Aww. Next stop is Napville. That's adorable. Pull this into the Keith concourse. I'd like to book a ticket to Napville as well. I might have to meet you halfway to eating food directly off your own stomach, Tom. Ooh. <laughs> we both giggle, but man, do I want to just pour some chips on my belly while I hang out in a hammock. That's not where I thought that sentence was going. Craig takes one <laughs> spoon of mac and cheese, puts it into his mouth, and, exp and balloons <laughs> out. And is immediately the fattest man on earth. Yeah. Craig, I'm glad you're making time for yourself. Oh, Me too. Hmm. Stress is a funny thing, dude. I didn't realize how overworked I was until I got away from the city. It's honestly just as destructive as binge drinking every night and eating burritos off the floor. I might argue that, Yeah. But okay. <laughs> I guess we need to get out of the city more often then. Hmm. Craig kicks his legs over the side of the bench and leans onto me, lying down on my lap. I run my fingers through his hair. You're looking for balance. I admire that. I'm trying not to feel guilty about doing things for myself. Hmm. It's a process. Oh. And it's gonna take me some time to figure it out. I might need your help, bro. Craig, I'll be your bro to the day I die. And if being your bro means forcing you to take care of yourself, then I'll be hap I'll happily oblige. Mm -hmm. Craig looks up at me, smiling. Oh. Bro. Nice. That means so much to me. Craig sits up and pulls me into a kiss. God. <laughs> we both laugh. <laughs> you and me, we're gonna be all right. No homo though, right? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Credits roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh wow! Let's see, I, I'm pretty sure Vernon got... wrote this. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably. Narratives. Oh, oh Jory Griffiths. Blah, blah, blah. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't. <laughs> I, I mean. It, oh, said, it was... said that Vernon was like... Oh, Hugo was Ray. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh. I don't even yeah, know who Quizmaster cool. Quinn is. <laughs> Joseph was Aaron. Uh, Dan was Robert. Oh, wow. Really? Weird. Okay. Yeah, that is weird. Especially after I gave him a Shadow the Hedgehog voice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he probably did a Shadow we the should, Hedgehog voice. Too. Yeah. Do you no, wanna... we're going to go back and do more dads. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah. yeah I think I want to... I think I want to try like... We'll complete, like, the dates for the dads until we have, like, the good ending where all the dads like us, but only one dad loves us. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. Okay, so this is not the end. I mean, we're done. Like, we beat the game, but... We're going to call the episode Finale for Now. Yeah, Finale for Now. Um, but we will go back and do more dads, because this was the Craig finale. Man, there's a lot of mini games there's that we didn't do. Yeah, I think it's there's different ones and like different dads. Yeah, definitely. Craig, uh, we, didn't, Craig didn't have, have any. any. Well, I mean, he had he had the finding the the doll. Mini it's not game. a mini. It's game. not a mini game, but it was like it was a different thing. We said to find out what those thing. mini games are. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Dream Daddy performed by Baths. Dual vaginal penetration, DVP. Oh, nice. This is not DVP by Pop. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I like that. <laughs> it's written by Barry. Ballad of Fallen Dad by Brian. Oh, this is great. I love seeing all the all the Grumps names up there. Me too. It's, it's cool. Fun. Yeah. I really hope the next game that they make, because 
you know, say what you I, want about games like this. They're yeah. very low effort. Yes. Yeah. yeah it, and I get why. Mm -hmm. But it was... I, I was kind of disappointed because Aaron has talked so much shit about, like, game design and how it should be, like, player's choice and there should be free interactivity. Yeah. And then he comes out with a fucking interactive dating sim. He just like, executive produced it. Yeah, I know. But, but still... You know, I mean, when you think Aaron's opinions on game design, a dating sim is not what you would imagine. I mean, Ding Dong from, and Julian from Oni Plays are making a game. Oh, are they? Yeah, yeah, they actually have a dev kit. Oh, nice. Like, it's coming out soon. <gasps> oh, we got a picture. That's, oh, that's so, so cute. Adorable. I love that. Oh, oh a, a good friend. Hold up, I'm going to screen cap that. Do that. Do that on the show. Nice. Wait. I mean, we're recording. You had it screen <laughs> capped on the recording. <laughs> yeah, I could have just, I'll just take it whatever yeah, yeah yeah but thanks Aww. for watching guys yeah, thanks. this was cool Let's we're see gonna... if we got anything else make sure oh yeah sure we're gonna do more dream daddy of course promise. we are because this is i don't game. hate this game really yeah you've softened i it? yeah well i don't i i don't love i don't think it's amazing i think it has huge pandering issues which I is sad because yeah. a lot of the a lot of the writing <laughs> doesn't need that because the writing's really good it's it's generally it. all right and then it just it doesn't need to be layered in as much I irony as this. I don't think it's pandering, and I think that the irony is just, it's, it's, because this whole, the whole concept is mocking uh, dating sims in the first place, so mm -hmm. I think that the irony is, is well earned in a lot of places. Guess so. Everything. So, I, I don't know. Maybe it'd be better if I play more dating simulators, but. <laughs> I do, I have a weird soft spot for dating sims. I think they're hilarious. Gotcha. They're so funny. But like, yeah. Dead Tip know. 39, they really stepped up the production value in episode <laughs> five. That's funny. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thanks for watching. We'll uh, make sure to subscribe to see more, more Dream Daddy more soon. Dream Daddy. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat some fucking food, baby. Awesome. Hey everybody, it's Robert. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to comment, subscribe, leave a like. It really means a lot to us. Thanks.